good morning today in this class we will talk of calculation of acf and ultimately plotting these acf values in the acf diagram what you are looking is a graphical this is your diagram this is a this is the graphical you all know that if there are three variables we can plot them on a graphical triangle equilateral triangle or you can say the triangle in a, on a triangular graph so this is this is the you can say the acf diagram or you can say in general we can plot a c and f values on this graphical equilateral triangle now the question arises how to calculate the acf values now the all you all know that this acf diagram was first given by escola and he you all know that in order to represent mineral assemblages in rocks of diverse compositions and metamorphic grade a triangular representation developed by escola that was in 1915 is used extensively this method is necessarily compromised because only three components can be represented in a plane yet the rock contain more than three components nevertheless by means of suitable selections and restrictions his method allows the representation of most rocks of not too unusual composition and having axis of silica if silica is present in axis quartz is constituents of many metamorphic rocks only those minerals with highest possible sio2 can be formed consequently the amount of sio2 has no influence on the mineral assemblages and need not be represented graphically so at one corner of a triangle designated as a which you can see it here this is your this is designated as a that portion of al2o3 more ex exactly al2o3 plus fe2o3 because fe3 plus and al3 plus can substitute for each other is plotted which is not combined with n and k the second corner defined as c this is c corner as c bara equals to cao and the third as f this is f this is your fe mg mn and the it is how you can say the oxide of fe mg and mn or in other words feo plus mgo plus mno accessory mineral constituents are disregarded in graphical representation however before calculating a c and f values the amounts of al2o3 and cao feo mgo contained in the accessories are subtracted from chemical analysis in this manner more important silicate minerals can be represented with exception of k and n silicates and silica under saturated silicates like olivine so this is the acf diagram which was given by escola and the how the calculation we how to calculate the acf and values this is an important that we are going to discuss so you what you will be given you will be given the the weight percent oxide data this means the chemical analysis of the rock that is the weight 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 percent oxide data of the rock the first step that you will do from that chemical analysis is the chemical analysis of a rock is corrected for the accessories means if you are you will be given the uh, you can say the chemical analysis in weight percent oxide data as well as the accessory component of that rock so what you will do first the original analysis of the rock is corrected for accessories in order to do this the amount must be must be determined pathological model analysis or x ray phase analysis 
Now the correction for accessories means fifty percent weight, or you can say fifty percent of the weight percent ilmenite present is subtracted from the percentage of the ilmenite because the ilmenite composition is FeO dot TiO two means fifty per weight percent is FeO. So what you will do is that fifty percent weight percent ilmenite is subtracted from your percentage of the FeO from FeO percentage because this ilmenite is fifty percent your FeO TiO two are not using so you subtract this fifty percent suppose you are given one percent your as uh, this ilmenite as an accessory mineral so point five point five you will subtract from the given that your FeO weight percent all right. Similarly, seventy and thirty percent of weight percent magnetite are subtracted from Fe two O three and Fe O percentage respectively. Because magnetite is what it is, Fe two O three dot Fe O. So Fe two O three dot Fe O means Fe two O three seventy percent and Fe O is thirty percent. So you will subtract thirty and thirty seventy and thirty percent magnetite from Fe two O three and Fe O. Say again, it is say you are given. Mag magnetite as one percent, so point seven you will subtract from Fe two O three and point three from FeO. The next thirty percent of the weight present is fine subtracted from CaO percentage, because the composition or you can say the chemical composition of fine is CaO dot TiO two dot SiO two, and your CaO is your thirty percent, right? So that suppose again you are given one percent is fine means point three will subtract from your CO composition, and then next correction is for your hematite. So hematite the composition is Fe two O three. So suppose you are given one percent Fe two O three means in the rock, as this your hematite as accessory mineral is one percent. So as such that Fe two O three one percent will be subtracted from the composition of given weight percent composition of rock from Fe two O three. Then after correction, the weight percentages of the corrected rocks and lisses are converted to molecular proportions. Means they, after correction for the accessories, means what the amount as we have discussed that subtracted from the uh, weight per chemical lisses in weight percent from the rock composition, and the weight percentage of the corrected rocks means after correction of the accessories are converted to molecular proportion by dividing the weight. Percent of each oxide by its molecular weight, so we'll convert them into molecular proportions. The molecular proportion Na two and K two O are added, an amount equal to their sum is subtracted from the molecular proportion Al two O three. Right, because the Na two O is to Al two O three is one is to one. Similarly, Al two O three. K two O is one is to one in L. The K fails. You can say fails pass means the amount of alumina that is in fails pass we don't take into consideration. So we subtract from that L two O three, and you know the amount that is present in fails pass means one mole of say N A two O or K two O and one mole of L two O three and six moles of S I O two. So in that respect. The L two O three amount that is which is in the fels par is not considered, and naturally we have to subtract from the L two O three composition of the rock. The amount equal to three point three times the molecular proportion P two five is subtracted from the molecular proportion C A O, because apatite, you know the composition, right? So that we'll subtract <coughs> from your C A O. <coughs> Then after Means this correct is subtraction after this scheme of calculating ACM ratios after making corrections necessary for the accessory may be summarized as means A will be equal to your this A right means A is your what it is Al two O three plus Fe two O three. Minus, right? Minus it will be in bracket Na two plus K two Na two plus K two, right? This will be your value of A, right? Similarly, your C will be C will be your 
CaO minus 3.3 P2O5 P2O5 and F will be your FeO plus FeO plus MgO plus MnO oh. so these three A's sorry this is A this is C and this is F these values are calculated for the graphical representation these are are calculated or you can say the values are calculated so that a plus c plus f is equal to 100 or second they can recalculated to 100 after the recalculation the percentage that is comes that are plotted the acf corrections you can say the acf diagram the uh, present in the composition of the rock the mineral is protected means this corrected means the values of a c f when they will add they will be 100 so now we can mark on this diagram this is say for example you have reached uh, for a rock the calculation of acf as say all equal 30 30 30 percent 33 33 33 percent or you can say 33.3 33.3 now where that point will mark because this is this is a right this is a means the a is 100 here this is a this is 100 here this line is 0 for a this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 like this is, the values are increasing for a similarly for c this is line is for 0 and the values are increasing this side and similarly for f this is 0 and the values are increasing like this side so taking that understanding now we can mark a point say suppose well the point 33.3 a means this is 0 this is 0 for a 0 10 20 30 right this is 0 10 20 30 means that point will lie somewhere on this line now c again 30 3 so this is 0 this is 10 this is 20 this is 30 so that where these two lines intersect the point will be somewhere here now you have to see that that point is also satisfied for your f now means the center of the triangle will be a point center of the triangle will be a point that will be marking all values equal mean that point will be equidistant from these three corners more the value of a, a or c or f that will be nearer to it for example say arbitrarily we can talk a50 and c50 so that point will lie in between this on these sides means unique very unique component thing will be marked at the corners by component on the sides of the triangle and if all three components are there these values will be marked inside this triangle depending upon upon their values more the value it will be near to that particular say a is more then that will be near towards a similarly c and like this f so what you have to do is that if you are given say value a as 50 so this is once again i show you this is 0 this is 10 this is 20 this is 30 this is 40 this is 50 this is 50 line this line as such is 50 for a say suppose you are given c as 20 the so 52 20 means this is your c this is 0 this is 10 this is 20 this is where these two lines intersect this this point now you can check it naturally the remaining f will be 30 so this is 10 20 this is 30 right so this will be the point so in acf diagram you have to only point mark the point point only you have to just represent that acf value by single point right like that we can mark hundreds and thousands of your points in the triangle right so this is how the values of a and c are plotted in acf diagram and from that various generalizations are made regarding the origin and other aspects of the rock so as a student of pathology 
in post graduation level up to first of all you understand what this acf diagram what is its significance and how it is the values of acf are plotted in acf diagram means this is the first we have to calculate the values of a c and f and then we plot them on the acf diagram and the value the chemical composition of a particular rock is marked by a single point for example say here if i have marked three see i have marked here one say one point one one two three means i have marked the composition or i have plotted the composition of three different metamorphic rocks means the composition of a particular rock of a specific rock is marked by only a single point in the diagram this is one this is two this is three means three values like that we can plot the values of say hundreds of your metamorphic rocks or samples you have brought from the field and we can mark their fields and from that the various uh, aspects of genetic aspects can be discussed and can be concluded. So this is all regarding this ACF calculation and plotting them on your ACF diagram. We will take up some other topic in our next class. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.